And we had a very interesting email here that I want to start off with today because it's been a question a lot of people have asked. What would you run as your main event tomorrow out of the Stadium Stampede and Mox versus Brody? I personally, this person says, James would go with the Stadium Stampede. Well, what I would do is the title match. And I think that the history of wrestling, every successful company, it's always built around the world championship. That's what everybody fights for. How many times have you heard people do that interview where they say, if you didn't get into wrestling to be the world champion, why did you get into wrestling? If you're not here to be the world champion, why are you even wrestling? We hear stuff like that all the time. But if you watch, I hate to make these comparisons, but it's the obvious comparison. If you watch WWE, I mean, the Universal Champion is even there half the time when, when Brock Lesnar's a champion. And there's feuds and there's storylines and this and that. But there's never that feeling nowadays with either of those belts that it's like the be-all, end-all. Now, they're, they're trying with Drew McIntyre. They're doing a great job with Drew McIntyre. I got to sneeze. As the champion. But the reality is, I mean, it's just not the be-all, end-all. And to me, AEW has the opportunity, having been in business for less than a year, the AEW title is the be-all, end-all. That's why you're there. Everybody in that stadium stampede match, they're in AEW to become the champion. Granted, they're doing a big, crazy, wacky match in a, in a football stadium with two rings and all of the other wackiness. But at the end of the day, when that match is over... It's right back to wanting to be the champion. If you're the Young Bucks, you want to be the tag team champions. If you're Chris Jericho, if you're any of those guys. I mean, even Nick and Matt Jackson. At the end of the day, you want to be the world champion. Cody wants to be the world champion, although he can't anymore. But he constantly brings it up. I can't even fight for that title anymore. Now he wants to fight for the, for the U.S. or the TNT title. I think that the main event, 99% of the time, should always be the world championship. That's it. Your thoughts, Jim. I agree with everything you said. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the other issue is this, is I would tie them together. Let's just say, let me just pick something out. Let's just say that somehow out of nowhere, Matt Hardy is actually evil. And Matt Hardy helps the inner circle win the stadium match on Saturday. And then... Once um, the champion is able to defeat Brody Lee, you end the show with that dastardly Matt Hardy attacking John Moxley, and then you're off to the races. And you can plug in anybody, Jericho, whomever, but I think I agree with you in the sense that it needs to go on last, but also that they're not exclusive. Because chances are the person who comes out of that stadium match with the visual pin or as the visually dominant wrestler will likely be the person who is off to the races with John Moxley for the next pay-per-view build. So I think in that sense, I would put the title match on last just to have that exclamation point that, yes, we saw whomever dominate the stadium match, and then we have made it even more apparent by have them end the show somehow fighting or in some sort of confrontation or having some sort of beginning issue with John Moxley. Somebody else here noted, ever since WWE went to two world titles, the title has never meant Jack. That's true. You have two world titles. Oh, wow. And, How's, that's weird. Well, I want to point out, by the way, that, you know, even before coronavirus, they had drastically reduced the number of house shows. And they may or may not ever do house shows again. So it's not like we're in a situation where we have two touring brands and we need a world championship on each brand. I mean... The ideal, and I've said this dating back to, to 2002 or whatever, you know, they should, if, the, if you're going to have one brand or two brands, it doesn't matter. But if you have two brands, which I think is pointless, but if you do, there should be a touring world champion, touring tag team champions, a touring intercontinental champion, meaning there's one world champion in WWE, and he can defend on Raw. And he can defend on SmackDown. Same with Tag and same with Intercontinental. That increases the value of those belts dramatically. 
And if you're not doing two tours, what do you need two world titles for? In AEW, they, it, 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 this is all they say. It's all about wins and losses. So if it's all about wins and losses and you have rankings, what's that all about? It's about determining who is the number one contender to be the top guy. And the top guy is the champion. You need one world champion and one secondary champion who, in storyline, that guy's number two. That's it. And any more than that waters it down, and it makes it all less important. And I just like the way they're doing things right now. I wish WWE would get rid of one of those titles. Have a unification match. And the next time you've got fans, unify those titles, and whoever's champion, he goes brand to brand. That's it.